Okay, so now uh, we're on to part two of our abstract name design video. And so I finished my layout. Uh, and it was just taking my name. I printed out my name. And cutting up those letters to come up with a abstract design. See, you can't even tell really um, that this was my name and type, right? Um, and then also I did another one. I See, I started another one on this side, but it was a little too linear, even though it's cool. I wanted to make it look like a computer sort of chipboard, but I like this one better. So, but I also did another one Another design, because I saw this, let me see if I can put it on the back. I saw this ad in one of my art magazines. It was um, for a gallery show for this woman, Sue Williams, and I kind of really liked the way that was happening. So I came up with my own design. It's just a different clusters of, almost looks like vibration lines. Um, so I have two designs right now that I can choose from. I'm just going to show you how to color this with our analogous color range of our oil pastels. So what you should do is just take a piece of paper, cover your work area, and then this is sort of free-flowing, right? this sort of is a uh, wavy so I want to express that um, I want to emphasize that rather so what I'm gonna do is I want to keep the black showing but I also want to just use my oil pastel kind of accentuate those wavy lines. And the good thing about oil pastel is you can blend it together. It's sort of very soft, a very soft crayon. Okay, and I'm just going over that all those little areas that I glued down, that's uh, the white paper of the typeface. Alright, so, and then I'm going to come in here with white. Actually, you know what, I want to come all the way up to the black with this blue and then I'll add in the white. It's okay if it goes over the black a little. I think it only adds to the design. Some areas are very black saturated and some aren't. So it's just a matter of taking area by area. And you can come in here with the white. You see this area is coming up. I didn't glue it down properly, so all I have to do is just glue it back down. Okay, so I want to take off some of that blue. Okay, maybe I want to put in some darker. Blue. Blending that in. Okay, maybe I want to come in here, this area here, with a little bit of purple. Okay. 
it's just all about going back and forth, back and forth, working it, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. Now, I don't see a lot of white coming through here, which I really wanted. So, some oil pastels can really, they're really mushy, and they go over colors really easily, but these are not them, unfortunately. So, what I'm thinking about doing now is getting some white paint, Get some white paint and I'll get a brush and I'll get a palette I'm just gonna use this container for now but I'm gonna take some white white acrylic and I'm gonna blend it over that blue. Just a little. There we go. I just wanted a little highlight. That's much better. So I'll go over this in class, but you could always do that. See, and then blending it maybe with your finger right in that area there. That's much better. Okay, so it's all a matter of just taking section by section and filling it in. You can make more sections darker, more sections lighter. See there again, it's not glued down enough. So I'll just come in with the glue and glue it back down. Come in with the glue and glue it back down. Okay, then I'm gonna add in some of my white here as a little highlight. Smear it a little at my finger. There. So that area is coming out really, really cool my opinion. Okay? You decide what you want to do and we'll go back over this in class and you'll have time to experiment. Have fun!